Hi, this is Trip, and welcome to my channel. Today is the one year anniversary of my channel. It started off with the name ASMR Soft Boys, and then I changed it to ASMR Grandpa because so many people seemed to see me in that way and called me as such. And at first I didn't like it, but now I've decided to. I decided to just embrace it, embrace the reality, the chronology of life. So I started this channel on March the 15th, 2019. It was on a, a Friday evening. And I uploaded my first video almost as a, not a joke, really, just serendipity. Sonnet 18 by William Shakespeare, a famous poem. Shall I compare thee to a summer day? That was my first video that Friday evening, and I thought, well, this will probably attract nothing but just haters, and uh, I won't do anything, and I'll just give up the channel quickly. Well, that was Friday evening, and when I went to bed that night, I had, I remember the very first subscriber, they didn't have a, but they didn't have an icon. It was just, I mean, they didn't let their icon or name be known. They, you know, you can do that with YouTube. And there were eight subscribers, and I went to bed that night, and I was surprised. And then Saturday, there were, I think it ended the day with about 25 or 30. And then Sunday, there were 60 or 70. And Monday, there were a couple of hundred. So it continued like that is a real big beginning. Of course, as time went on, especially recently, it's been very slow, even disheartening. You know, but that's just the way it is. And I know it will get better. And if it doesn't, I'll be happy because I've met, you know, met so many wonderful people and they far outnumber those who, the, the haters. There have been almost none of them. So from that first video, now I have 100, about 130 videos. I've only had, I think, six people that I've had to to mute or ban, you might say. And I let two of them, I, I unmuted two of those. And one of them I had to, to, to re-mute recently. So of all those six haters, there was one that's still, that I've, that's still out there and they, Maybe don't know they can comment again. Maybe they don't want to. That's okay. There are a lot of channels. I mean, there are people who I've... Uh, there have been a lot of comments that I've deleted that were just... There were some that were just vile and, and obscene and vulgar. And I won't have any of that on my channel. I don't mind if you, if you disagree with me. That's okay. I will not... I will not delete your comments or, or mute you if you disagree. That's your First Amendment, your freedom of speech. But of course, it has limits. So anyway, I've done a lot of... I started off doing poetry. I did some financial advice, some fast food reviews, and I did 15 videos about my trip to Europe in 1973 and all through many of my of my videos including the the eating videos I've had per, I've told personal stories and things I thought were interesting that they're all through my eating videos you just have to to watch them to see where they to, to see where they are if you care to 
Mostly I've been doing fast food reviews. I really miss the poetry and I hope to do some more. I did a few advice videos like financial. I had a, a number of story type videos. I'd like to do more of those. And one thing I'm thinking about doing is it's videos about drawing and painting, kind of like Bob Ross. People told me I was like him in some ways. But there's one way I'm, I'm not like him. I can't draw and I can't paint. So I'm uniquely unsuited for that. But I would still like to try it. So at this time, I have about 60, 6,700 subs if I look at the real time in the analytics, the statistics. But if I look on the channel, the channel tab there on the home page, it says only 6,610. The real time is 6,700. Maybe somebody can explain to me why that difference. I don't know. For the last week or two, it's been a difference of 90. I asked YouTube about it. I did the chat thing. They couldn't help me at all. Right now, about 50% of, of my viewers or, or subscribers are in the U.S. About seven or about eight or nine percent are in the U.K maybe three or four percent in Canada and in Germany and, and so on down the line. Eighty-five percent of you are between the ages of about 18 and 34 years old. Though this channel really, as you would expect, is mostly young people watching. It's about divided equally between male and female. So far I've got about and I don't know that this is right because the analytics, I, I don't know, it's 4,000 or 20,000. I know that's a big difference. Maybe it's 4,000 comments from the very beginning and, and something like maybe 20,000 likes and 99.2% are all are likes. There's about eight tenths of a percent that are dislikes. Well, that First Amendment again, whatever you think. I started off with an iPhone camera and, I'm, and I, I kind of upgraded. I got a hand-me-down camera. Someone gave it to me. So, I started, actually my son-in-law gave me the camera. He's very tech savvy. And I didn't know anything about editing. I know a little bit about it now. But I don't have, I can't devote time the rest of my life to, to being an expert on all of this. You know, I'm, I started this channel last year and I was 67. Well, now I'm 68. 68 and a half I still get really shy I was more shy at the beginning but not so much now in fact I've decided that the only way to overcome that and this is for any of you who want to start a channel good luck with that the way to overcome it is just to turn the camera on and just start filming when I was a DJ after high school, the summer after high school, I was practicing in the in the control in the in the studio, and the station manager told me that it was it's better not to not to rehearse because you you can always stop any time, but whenever you're on the radio live, well you are live, you can't just stop course this is different you can edit a lot but since I don't know about editing I know how to how to cut out certain certain parts 
at least I can do that. But mostly, what you see is almost beginning to end. There are no cuts at all and no editing. So in that sense, it's kind of live. Now, I, I, later on, I, I did buy a Yeti. And that's a powerful little microphone, the Blue Yeti. It magnifies sound. Before I forget, sometimes I, I don't exactly know how to do the comments. So I think maybe I miss a few people, but not too many. I don't understand how it's kind of some comments it shows you that are in the videos and some you can't see. I don't know. Tarzan not like technology. So where will this go in the future? I don't know. But I'm resolved to continue it and see what happens. So this is my one year birthday. Okay, one year anniversary. Whatever you want to call it. This is one piece of chocolate cake. the candle was going to work because I tested it before I made the video, okay? So here's to you. All the people that have subscribed and comment or just watch the videos. If you've been watching my eating videos, you know I'm probably not going to finish this. And this is delicious. But I mentioned it came from Publix. Just one slice. I had to set this up though, so it would stand up straight. It was kind of difficult might be about to fall over. Mm -mm -mm. Mighty fine. It's sliding off the cake. The top layer is sliding off. It's just going to go, it's going to fall over. Better take this candle out. Oh, what the heck. There we go. It must be so great if we could all just meet. When I get to one million subscribers, maybe we'll have a convention. I don't know. Of 
course I'll be 112 years old. I'll tell you what I will do. If I got if I had a million subscribers, I would shave my head. See a piece has already fallen out there. I'm not too worried about shaving my head. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to eat all this, really. Looks like I'll finish most of it. It's just too good. Oh, by the way, please consider subscribing, commenting, liking the video, sharing, and ring the little bell so you can get be notified of videos. I was making three videos a week from March the 15th or thereabouts till just a couple of months ago. And I was growing so slowly. There was so much at work, I decided I would make two videos a week. It was becoming like a job. Right now I'm putting videos up on Monday and Friday, most of the time. This one, of course, will be on Sunday. But it's a one year anniversary. Technically, you could say Saturday is the one year anniversary. I say Sunday is. Toothpick. And by the way, what are your your favorite comic strips? Those who watch who look at the comics, I see four every week on Sunday. And the four I read are Beetle Bailing, Snuffy Smith, Dilbert, and Blondie. Does anybody read them anymore? This delicious cake. Just look at it. Look how rich. discovered it's fairly easy to make eating videos because the food is a prop is kind of a center of attention it's something to do you know while you're talking the hardest videos to make are those where you're where you're explaining something and mostly it's just you and the camera but eating videos they're not real difficult at all at least the kind that I do just the fast food thing. Now it's these these uh, milk bombers that have all these exotic exotic foods that they present. Now that takes a lot of creativity.
But anyway, this is the video for my first anniversary on YouTube, and I hope you liked it, and and I hope you'll keep watching. Tell your friends. Tell your mom and dad. Let's get some more older people on the on the channel. Although I, I'd be happy if all I had was young people that were commenting. You know, the future belongs to you. So, this is trip again, and I'll be chatting with you later. Oh yeah, the peace out thing. <laughs>